Hello friends! As promised in one of my previous reviews, uh, this video will be dedicated to making functioning the Lux Tools angle grinder without its own battery. Shortly about the advantages and disadvantages of this device. You can use standard 115mm cutting discs. Also the spindle has standard diameter M14. The device has RPM regulator and three positions for the holder. One, two, three. But as for me, the only disadvantage of this device is that there is no possibility to use it together with batteries of other manufacturers. I've asked one of the Lux Tools battery owners to measure the resistance between the central and minus terminals of the battery and it amounted to approximately 94 kilo ohms. So I've used the corresponding resistor in order to cheat the angle grinder, but it did not help. And afterwards, that guy has disassembled his device, connected its terminals to the battery, and it turned out that the battery had PWM signal on its third contact. So the inscription C does not mean Celsius or something like that. The BMS board of the battery also has the inscription COM. So the battery communicates with the device and the device communicates with the battery. And it will not be possible to use the batteries of other manufacturers with this angle grinder without the corresponding BMS board. But because I don't like to have a lot of batteries of different manufacturers, I have found a bit difficult way out, but it will necessarily work. So, the battery, the battery adapter, and the motor speed control board. But unfortunately it's designed maximum for 10 amps. And in case of the angle grinder, there is a necessity to increase the amperage. More precisely, to double it. Instead of this board, we will use this one. So let's make some changes in order to make this device work with another battery. Now let's check the grinder with the help of 12 volt battery. It's on. So the only disadvantage of this scheme is that speed regulator is always on. But there is not a problem. We can mount also uh, the switch, but it would be of a second switch for this system. 
Now let's check this 20 volt device with this 20 volt battery. So now after making of this adapter for this battery we should attach it to the tool. But I would also like to add the switch here. Of course, this is the temporary one, but anyway, we need to protect all this board. And now let's check the device. The red LED is on. The minimum. The only thing we should do, we should cover all this and this part. It's really very good when these two parts are open for ventilation, but some metal dust can damage the board. Well, that's why it's better to protect it from damage. After making of some cuttings, it turned out that the position of this potentiometer is not good because of increasing or maybe decreasing and also in this position also in this case we may increase or decrease suddenly the speed Well, that's why this potentiometer will be placed somewhere here.
also we should cover this part. Because anyway the device will function in dusty conditions, I decided to cover also all these and all these parts. And now the final test. So it's really a non-standard solution, but anyway, if you have no Lux Tools battery, but you have a lot of batteries of other manufacturer, well, this solution may be really very helpful. Hope this video was interesting for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.